Hello everyone and welcome back to yet again another exciting video for Dropple. Today I am going to be showing off Dex 3.0 as promised. Yesterday we did take a look at Dropple Home and how that's going to serve as the strong foundation that the Dropple team needs to be able to work their apps on top of. We have Dex, Arthur, Max, and Jade. Of course, Max and Jade are in current development at this time, but I did want to take some time to show off Dex 3.0 to the public as it's been in beta since the beginning of the year. This video is going to also serve as a quick tutorial for newcomers so that they are able to just go ahead and use this video as a guide to depositing their drops, getting started with Dex, and just be able to benefit from the passive income that many of us have been able to generate with this platform. Uh, for everybody that doesn't know, Dropple in itself has been available since March 2018, and Dex has been working for a lot of us. I myself have been able to generate some strong passive income with the platform, and so that's why I am so passionate and adamant to show this one off and show Dex 3.0 to the public. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first step is just going to be buying the drops on any of the Dropple supported exchanges. There's a list of them uh, in this link right here, but uh, off the top of my head, we do have Tidex, we have Bitmart, we have IDAX, and there's just a, quite a few options to be able to purchase your drops, whether it is through Bitcoin or Ethereum. Then the next step is going to be to transfer your drops into the Dropple Portal wallet. And lastly, you're just going to create a drop, uh, Dex profile for the first time. You're going to select some settings and I'm going to walk you through those. I'm going to be able to show you uh, exactly what the different modes are. And each cycle is actually uh, 15 days. So one cycle equals a 15 day period. And of course, in the month, there should be about two cycles. So let's go ahead and click deposit drops. Okay, so here we have another page. This will show any transaction that you have pending. So this is really good because in the case that you are a new user and you just uh, went ahead and had the deposit to wallet pop up where you uh, transferred your drops to, it should quickly show up and let you see a pending and the number of confirmations for your transaction. So that's really cool. Uh, right now I currently have 500,000 500, drops so I'm going to click Setup Dex. All right, so here is the new revamped Dex 3.0 uh, page when it comes to setting up Dex. Uh, there's quite a lot of information already in this page, so I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top left. As you can see, you can select the amount of uh, USD value or drops that you want to add. This is just an easy slider that I can use. You can go ahead and set it to right here. I can go around the middle or I can go all the way to the right. And that'll show me the percentage relative to the slider. So that's pretty cool. Really uh, easy way to just set that up and get you, get you started real quick. Or I can go ahead and input a value myself. Cool. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and do 100%. Now the next step is going to be the pool distribution is a really cool, neat new feature that the Dropple team did develop and put in place for Dex 3.0. Uh, I can actually now use a mix of distribution when it comes to setting up uh, the different modes that I want to use. So before, a lot of us had to just stick to one, that being aggressive, right, 100%, or being moderate, or in the other case, being safe, depending on the risk level that you feel comfortable with. I myself, uh, starting now, I'm very excited because I more than likely will be using the mixed version as I would like to keep some drops in the safe mode just in case there is some crazy volatility in the market at the time um, or depending on how the market is doing, I can go ahead and adjust it to what I feel comfortable with. So just for this uh, video, we're going to go ahead and select that. Oh, also, I'm going to show off the manual input. So down here, there was a button that said enable manual input. And so I can um, select the percentage uh, and write that in to show off exactly the amount of drops that I want in each mode in the case that I use the mixed version. So I'm going to hide this manual input. And the top right is showing the recontribute button. So essentially what this means is that you can select to either cash out after a cycle or you can just auto recontribute to Dex to be able to essentially just utilize that new uh, earned drops and 
have that money work towards uh, you. So essentially, you'd grow your capital and be able to to have more uh, drops working on your behalf that are going to be traded. Uh, and so in my case, I like to leave it on yes, we can contribute everything. But if we click no, we're going to see it a uh, slider that's going to present us the amount of drops that we would want to uh, withdraw from decks. And I want to clarify something that a lot of people get confused with early on, and that is that uh, Dex holds drops, but then you also have first your portal wallet, or you can have the external wallet set up. So if I click external wallet, I can go ahead and uh, write out the wallet address that I may have for my Ethereum um, wallet. Or also I can just click my portal wallet and it will just take the drops out every single cycle relative to the percentage that I select. This is very, very cool. Um, and it's kind of a feature that we already have, but here it looks, uh, looks a little bit different. It looks a lot more sleek. So I'm gonna leave it at uh, yes, recontribute everything. But you know what, let's go ahead and choose 32% just to do something random and see something different in the next page. Okay. So there we go. So I clicked add to decks in that last page and now I get a pop-up just showing me exactly what happened. The amount of uh, drops that were added equivalent to the current USD value at the time. So that's also a very important number. Uh, we do see the valuation per drop down here. Currently it is 0 0.000735 per drop. Um, and then below that we have the amount that I will recontribute through each cycle. So at the end of the cycle, 68% of my drops will go back into the system. And then it'll cash out 32%. Actually, uh, yes, that's correct. And then the pool distribution, we're gonna go ahead and do 18% for safe, 45% for mod, and 37% for aggressive. Then it breaks down the numbers here of, dro of drops and the current equivalent value of the USD amount. And that is equivalent to the time that it was deposited for the per drop price. I'm gonna close this link. And now here we are, the new DEX dashboard within DEX 3.0. And it really does look very sleek, it looks amazing. Um, it is, it, it's, it's a great refresh. And we have a lot of information, a lot of things to cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top. Um, in case you didn't know, in the top right, there is a toggle between light and dark theme mode. So if I go ahead and click that, here we have the light version of what DEX is looking like. I myself prefer the dark mode, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right back. Okay, and the, the top left, we have the current amount of uh, USD value in DEX. After that, we have uh, the profit that's been made. So as the cycles end, you should be seeing this uh, number change. Of course, in the event that DEX does have a DEX, uh, I mean, in the event that DEX does have a negative cycle, um, this may be a negative number. So again, profits are not promised in this platform. That's a very important thing to remember. Uh, up until this day, everyone has profited from DEX when it comes to their cycles and earning back drops because DEX in itself, the logics and the trading, everything that goes up making up DEX has been very successful. Um, but going forward, this is not promised. So that's just important to keep in mind. And this will show you the amount of drops earned during the last period. Then at the top right, any uh, drops that you have available just waiting in your Dropper wallet are going to be shown right here in the USD equivalent amount. Of course, there's a link at the top right to add to DEX. Um, which if I do click, it shows me the minimum amount is $5 to deposit into DEX. And so I don't have that available, so I can't do that. Then we have the takeout early, which we're going to go over in a few uh, seconds. I'm going to touch on everything here on the left side. So under the uh, top header, we have a uh, tab that states this period total performance. So right here, you're gonna see the amount of USD and current drops that are in the unrealized, unrealized profit. This is really important because 
as your cycle moves on, right? So right now I have, uh, I just started it, so I'm only three minutes into my DEX cycle right now. But as um, DEX closes trades and um, there are positive trades moving up, I'm going to see this number change. So uh, that's a very neat feature here to have in case you want to check up on DEX uh, every so often. To the right, we have this current period, the percentage uh, that's been earned and the percentage payout uh, currently during the last payout. Under that, we have the performance tab. A lot of us love this tab. Of course, we're able to see uh, our portfolio history, our current net worth today, uh, which will be calculated um, based on the current price of drops that is pulled from coin market cap. So this number and this top number up here can be different. And the reason for that is, is that the amount index is valued at the time that you deposit your drops and the current price during that specific time. So the net worth today can change. So if the drop value goes down to, God forbid, 0 0.005, then my net worth will change. And so that's just important to keep in mind, of course, you know, we are utilizing a token here for this, for this platform. But if the token price goes up, then of course, you know the positive effects of that. Okay, looking over to the right, we have the three-year compounded projection. And this is essentially something that the Drapple uh, team placed as a tool for to be able to estimate what would be a compounded projection in three years from now. So we can see how much that would be, about $1,700 from a $370 uh, valuation today. We have a drop down menu showing the portfolio history today. Uh, the three year compounded projection. I'm gonna go ahead and just show these off. There we see some cool animations. Let's go ahead and play that back. So when you do change, you're gonna see some really cool animations showing the data. So in the three year compounded projection, you're gonna see just a nice chart uh, estimating how much you could potentially have in USD value. Uh, the next chart is the hourly returns. So what's cool is that I just started my cycle, but this is already showing me the performance of the different modes. Okay, so now we have combinations. Now we're not just seeing my specific mode that I had. Uh, if I had chosen aggressive, I would still see safe and moderate, right? And so now it's going off of each, uh, each one and it's showing the performance per hour. Um, so this is good for people that want to perhaps later on change their settings which i'm going to show you also in the video okay and the green uh, color obviously is for safe blue is for moderate and aggressive is purple then we have the daily returns chart again uh, something similar to the previous hourly returns but here we're going to see the day-to-day -day, uh, performance of each one uh, we can see on the 8th that aggressive outperformed on the 9th on the 10th also on the fifth. So aggressive does tend to outperform, but also the aggressive mode can lead to lower uh, returns and actually bigger losses. So as you can see, we see a large bar here for negative 0.28% for aggressive. Uh, when compared to the other modes, they're a lot smaller when there have been any daily losses. Now going forward to the weekly returns, we can see week to week how the different modes stack against each other. What's very exciting about this one is that now we can see that on a week to week basis, aggressive mode for the most part does tend to outperform the other ones, which is very, very nice. And then the monthly returns. So we can see that in March, we did see a 6.2% return for the aggressive mode. So that's kind of a very big deal, guys. You know, you think about compounding through a bank or any other kind of platform. Uh, you don't really see a 6% on a monthly um, uh, kickback on your on your income. And so look at moderate. It has 4.8% and safe has 3.4%. Uh, and the largest one we had was 9.26% in August. So that was definitely an amazing month for a lot of us. And we did see a decrease in the recent months. 
that all has to do with volatility of the market and all these other things so of course you know it is a you win some you lose some right this is not just a get rich quick scheme or any uh, platform that's going to guarantee any kind of profit lastly we have 2.05 percent currently for january but of course today is january 10th so we do have a lot more days left in the month okay uh now we have my specific hourly returns and this is showing the mixed mode return this is very very neat guys so i just started my decks but of course i can already see the mixed return that i would have essentially uh, earned already in the past few hours and then my dex payouts i have no dex payouts yet so i see a disclaimer up here on the top that's a really nice notification banner there and yeah let's go ahead and move forward to the pull performance now so here we can see at the top right i have recontribute to 68 percent on the left i have a cool graph just showing off the uh, amount of drops and percentages that are allocated to each mode and so here we have the configure button so this is important because going forward let's say that i am mid-cycle i've seen that aggressive is really the place to be when it comes to uh, taking risks for earning more percentages with decks and maybe i want to just go ahead and uh, take aggressive higher i want to do 80 percent now i want to do 5% for aggressive, right? Let's go ahead and do it manually. And then for safe, I should be able to do, let me change this to five. Let's change the safe to 15, moderate is five, and aggressive should be 80. And so of course, this is similar to the uh, settings that you saw in the earlier pages for the recontributing uh, mode, I can go ahead and select how much I want to withdraw. Uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling confident. You know, I've been in the platform already for a while, so I'm going ahead and just uh, recontribute 100%. So let's go ahead and click yes. Then I click update for next cycle, and boom, there we have a green notification bar just uh, up top on the right, showing us that they've been queued for the next cycle. Uh, now we have some pending changes and this notification up here is really neat because uh, say you logged out, you know, a couple days went by and you forgot and you're like, oh man, I don't remember if I uh, went ahead and changed these things. So it's going to show you the pending DEX changes. And it's also really neat in the scenario that you don't want those changes, right? So let's say another three days went by or another so many days went by and you're like, oh man, I don't want to change those settings. I want to keep the ones I had and go ahead and click cancel. And then it'll prompt you to say, are you sure? So we clicked that and then my settings have been su successfully canceled. So now I'm good to go. I have the older settings. Okay, I'm gonna click the back button. Now we're back in the DEX dashboard. And under that, we have the history tab. This is showing off the amount of drops, essentially, uh, that I put into DEX, the value at, were, at which they were deposited at for USD, the current action, it was a DEX setup, and then the amount total in DEX. So here I have just one entry since I just started. And yeah. Oh, let's go ahead and do the takeout early function. So if you do want to withdraw uh, from the platform in itself, you're going to just gonna have to go ahead and click the takeout early fun, uh, option on the top right. It's in red letters, so it should be easy to find. And this is just gonna prompt you to be able to withdraw from DEX. Gives you a top, uh, disclaimer up top saying you will lose any unrealized profit. So if I leave this option, it'll just cancel DEX completely, which will stop my, uh, my cycle at this time. It also shows me the amount of drops that I would forfeit if I were to choose that, right? So I can choose withdraw from the to the portal. I can take my drops out. And that's another thing that I wanna clear out for anybody that's new on the platform. Uh, Dex is not going to hold your drops. The Dropple team is not locking down your drops. There is no lock-in period. If you wanna take uh, capital out early, you need to sell 
uh, make payments, whatever it is that you need to do with this money that you put into DEX, right? Uh, you can go ahead and do that at any time. And then the other cool thing is for some of us, uh, we've probably been accumulating drops throughout the cycles and uh, we may want to withdraw some some uh, USD capital equivalent in drops. And so we can do that in this page. And so this is another fun page where, um, oh, so if I would have clicked cancel decks completely, that would have shown me just the page to withdraw all of my drops to the portal. But if I don't click that, then I can select the amount. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so right here, I'm going to go ahead and look into selecting you know what I want to withdraw 75%. I got to make some payments or something. <laughs> so now we have an equivalent amount of uh, the 75% at this time would be 275.75 cents. And that is 375,000 drops. Also, another cool thing and feature that Dex uh, and the Dropple team offer is that when you withdraw, not only um, can you withdraw to the portal, but say that I want to withdraw to a portal and then I want to withdraw from the platform, those fees are covered by Dropple themselves. So that is also very exciting. They are very generous. This is a very generous team. It really catches me by surprise every single day with all the updates they come out with because I don't see this in the cryptocurrency space. I don't see this with other projects. I don't see this with other companies. And with this new update, DEX 3.0 and all the information uh, that, that we, we can see, the information that we get in regards to newer updates, their, their pace for updates and upgrades, it's just so, um, they're so dedicated. And so you wouldn't see that with a team that's just out here to fail with a team that doesn't have a long-term goal for the platform. Uh, Dex is one of their more refined um, tools because it has been uh, worked on and uh, upgraded throughout the year of 2018. But for everybody that's new and everybody that's a current user, you will be able to experience Dex 3.0. And I am just excited to get this out to the public, honestly. I'm, I'm <laughs> I do not want to beta test anymore <laughs> unless there's any other bugs that need to get fixed, but uh, I'm just ready. I want the public to be able to have this in their hands. And so here I selected the amount to withdraw. I can go ahead and um, this is a current pool distribution that I had. And then I can withdraw to the portal. So then I get a page coming up showing me that I withdrew from Dex, the current uh, USD value for the amount of drops. So in this case, it was 375,000 drops. That was 275.75 cents USD. And the settings, um, how they changed from before to after. And so, yep, right now I only have 125,000 drops in DEX, and that is about $91 in DEX. Go ahead and close that. You can see the history updated to taken from DEX. And then, yes, everything else uh, should have changed. If I would have had unrealized profit, this tab would have also changed to show the current amount. And now the pull performance tab is also showing the current amount of drops in there. Okay, so uh, let's do one more thing. If I wanted to re-add those to DEX, I can go ahead and click add to DEX. I can uh, configure the amount that I want to add to the next cycle. In there and then another scheduled deposit so this is pretty cool this scheduled dex deposit feature just essentially says hey you just queued up this amount of drops um, and this is how your uh, dex dashboard is going to change once these drops get added so it, drops can only be added back into dex at the end of the cycle but you can queue the drops that you want to add. So say you deposited drops into the DEX platform, I mean into your Dropple portal wallet, and then you want to go ahead and add them into DEX. You can do that, right? So um, there's a lot of liberty here to withdraw, to deposit again later on when your next cycle is about to start. You can just queue them up. And honestly, DEX 3.0 is perfect. I'd be surprised to see another update to DEX <laughs> because this product is truly... It's truly amazing. So with that being said, uh, 
I think that just about covers Dex 3.0 the dashboard, the experience that new users should be having coming into the platform. You can see how easy it is to just get started and set everything up. You can go ahead and see your performance here in this tab, uh, the different uh, ways to, to review your current returns for hourly, dailies, weeklies, monthlies. It's all there. It's everything easy to, to just view. Um, if you're in a specific mode, you can see the other modes. If you're in the mix mode, you can see the mix mode. If you're not in the mix mode, you can see the mix mode. Everything is here. Dex 3.0 for the public coming real soon. It is here, guys. So like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Join the telegram. It will be down in the description of the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.